Right, I'm just gonna do a getting ready with me video for you. I washed my face and um, cleansed it. I'm just gonna start off with moisturiser. Um, I do wear the moisturiser I'm using is the Olay um, Complete Care. This is a moisturiser. Um, I just think it's a good moisturiser to be honest, and it's not really expensive. I have used other moisturisers, but um, I tend to always come back to the BSC Jean Skin Balance Face Moisturising Cream, um, SPF 50 PA++. And this is actually from Thailand. And I've tried other face um, sunscreens such as um, Soltan, you know the Boost range, and I do like Soltan, the actual range. Um, I think it's good, it's high protection and stuff, but it made me break out the face one. So, um, right, apologies if the lighting and everything is rubbish, because, oh, it just is. Next, um, Instant Glow Immediate Radiant Skin Perfecting Cream for about, ooh, um, two months, I think. Um, I saw it on Ruth's channel, it's a model recommends, um, don't know if any of you watched her channel, and um, I love assume my products anyway and I was like mm, I have to try this um, and I love it I will be doing a review on it but the reason I've waited so long two months like I said to do reviews because um, when I was using it um, I had an allergic reaction and it was actually to some medication I was taking but I thought it could have been this cream because I had just started using it on my skin um, basically it was a tomato <laughs> to be honest um, I, my face had swollen I'm just taking some Vaseline um, for my lips my skin had swollen I mean my face swelled like I know I've got a chubby face anyway but it swelled and um, it was ridiculously huge like, and it was red I had burning sensation but NHS direct and then the most useless people I rung in the evening I think it was half eight and they're like oh we're really busy which I can understand and we'll ring you back what did they do they ring me back at 6.25 in the morning I'm in snooze land come on YSL perfect touch foundation it was in my um hits and misses um video I don't like the um sponge on this oh I don't like the um applicator on this all I do is do that and that that's all I do um I don't like to wear lots of foundation. I do like um, your skin to kind of shine through, whether it's got flaws or not. And I'm using the Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki F80. I think this is still a bit wet actually, I only washed it yesterday. Um, yeah, I like to um, wash my brush brushes regularly. Yeah. Um, and plus, because I'm breaking out at the minute, um, and I'm, I'm a bit of a like hygiene freak. I think it irritates people, my little hygiene thing. I'm really constantly washing my hands and everything. And I know it's irritating. What I like about this foundation is the coverage. I don't know if you can even pick, if the camera's in picking it. It's, I prefer it to be light. Um, but what I like to do is, where I do have little blemishes, just to spot cover them, and slowly dab this foundation in. It's really good for that. And it doesn't go cakey or anything. Anyway, yeah, this um, foundation um, is always when I go back to... Um, yeah, this is so awkward doing it like the mirror is like 10 feet away. <laughs> Um, I don't, I'm not particularly fussed if you can still see like my spots and things, um, everyone is different, um, I think it's, it's nice to kind of see someone's flaws as well, if that makes any sense whatsoever, I think it's nice, um, to see people's flaws, it makes you look more natural I guess, um, looks more realistic as well, I think. Um, fair enough if you've got like um, even skin and stuff. I used to, <laughs> not anymore. Um, right, brush, and um, this is one of them. Is it a spoodle or whatever it's called? Just brush my brows a bit. I'm having a, a bit of a brow. Um, what do you call it? I'm growing my brows at the minute. Right, next, I just take um, my. for like a simple thin line um today my eyeliner is never ever the same like ever and every day it's different and it looks different <laughs> um i use a cotton bud as you can tell I always have, I just... <laughs> Even is so overrated anyway. 
That's my excuse. I can't really. Right, that's gonna have to do for now. I've not actually been curling my eyelashes recently. Um, I think it's nice to give your eyelashes a break. Um, the mascara I use is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Um, Yeah, I pull like a stupid face when I put mascara on. I thought everyone does that though. Um, yeah, I don't tend to really wear eyeshadow either. Um, if I do, it's really more of a natural kind of colour I tend to wear. Um, I just never have been. Personally, I don't think it suits me either. And secondly, I'm not very good at doing them. Yeah, um, this mascara, I love this mascara. Uh, that was a bit of a dried out one, so I'm going to go for a newer one. My brother had like the longest, eye longest eyelashes ever. It's mad. I think we get our eyelashes off. Let's see my dad. I think, anyway. Always like males I have really long, nice eyelashes as well. Um, yeah, so now filling in my brows. I don't normally, but I found that as I'm trying to grow them, I have to at the minute. Just taking, what are these called? Spoodle? I know the name, if anyone knows the name, you can leave a comment below. And um, all I take is, um, it's a Iku slanted, I don't know what you call that brush. And this is like some cheap eyeshadow. I take the black colour. I know people are going to be like, oh, you should do brown and everything. But, um, I don't know, I just prefer black. I've tried brown. I've tried pencils and they're just, yeah, just not happening for me. Is it the number seven pencil? That is actually a really good pencil. Um, it's definitely the best pencil I've ever tried. And yes, I know my brows are not even at the minute. Um, but like I said, I am growing them. So once they've grown, I can go get them threaded properly. Um, I'm not a big fan of like really thin eyebrows. Um, I've had thin eyebrows in the past. And um, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of thick eyebrows. But I don't like the drawn on look of MAC Select, um, Select Moisture thingy. I've been using this for years. I'm not a big fan of MAC products, but this is one product I like. And um, um, I don't like to do lots of concealing and stuff, as you can see. I don't see anything wrong with a few spots and things, it's not the end of the world. A lot of people get them. Um stop you from living your life, is it now? <laughs> right, that's it. Now I take my touche clat. Um is it the, this one, the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter because I did actually try this, um I did actually try this um under my eyes and I did not like it. Um, I thought, you know what, I'll try something that's cheaper and I've heard it is good for under eyes and stuff and um, I'll try it and it, it just, it didn't last all day number one and secondly, um, it looked really ashy, I know people say maybe it was too fair for your under eyes, that's why you should have concealed first but what I found with the two shade clat is I don't even have to, um, um, conceal I just literally as you can see I've, I've put foundation on my face but that's it and I just go in with the touche clap and um, I don't do contouring or any of that um, shiz um, I've just I don't know um, I just don't do it I've got a chubby face I'm not really bothered about things like that Um I prefer more of a natural look but what I have been using the um, this for, the e.l.f. recently is, and it's a con is it? Ah, oh, it's actually the conceal bit I've been using. I didn't even know. And um, just here, is this your cheekbone? I don't even have cheekbones or whatever you call them. But um, yeah, I've just been using it here. I find it's really nice at highlighting this area without looking like 
ghostly white or just like majorly obvious. Um, right, I'm, apologies if this video is like ridiculously like long and you're just like, she's babbling. I don't obviously normally take this long to get ready, but um, just, yeah, because I'm talking to her. Um, I, I, then after the tape, Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Eyeliner in Baked and I just, um, I don't line that actual waterline, you know, below the lash line. I don't know what it's called. I just do that. Um, I think with brown eyes, this was any eye colour. I think this really suits. And because um, I don't wear bottom eyeliner, I just literally wear top eyeliner. Um, I like this. Um, wearing for years. So I'm boring everything. I'm like, oh, I wear this for years. And then uh, I don't always put bottom um, mascara on. And I don't put a lot on. I just don't like um, that. I prefer like them to look natural. Well, as natural as they can with mascara on. Because they're quite long, I don't want them to like start looking spidery. You can see that? So that's all I do on my eyes, literally. Um, top eyeliner, mascara, the bitch, 24-7, glide on, eyeliner, and um, bomb mascara, that is it. Um, right. Um, I can't find my mineral veil at the minute, which is what I would normally um, use to set everything. Um, I can't find that at the minute, so I'm just going to use... And this is another product. Um, it's a MAC one, and I know I don't like MAC product, but um, this is a Slexia MAC pressed powder. What I like about this is um, it doesn't like make you look matte, and... Um, um, I used it years ago and then I stopped using it because I lost it. And then um, um, I got it in the wrong shade. I had it in NC40 and um, that just made me look um, made me look orange. I looked absolutely ridiculous. Um, but now I've got it in NC30, yeah, NC30 and that is um, a better shade for me. It just some cream blush. Um, a thing I've just been re using recently. Um, I do sometimes wear this on its own. I like its dewiness. I like how it looks natural. Um, but past week or so, um, I've been putting it as a base kind of brush. I'm using is one thirty. Um, but I got to say, Sigma brushes are like so good and um, that's what i use for my foundation i've got another sigma brush as well i love right don't laugh and um at my brush this is a brush i love yes it's got no handle um this is such an old brush it's clean because i just want got it in a set from boots or something you know it's by a makeup artist and it's such a good brush um it's kind of gone like that at the minute i have ordered that brush cards is it um, so I'm waiting for them to come and hopefully they can restore it back to its natural shape or maintain its shape at least. Um, so next I'm just taking my Lancome bronzer, which is the bronzer I mentioned in my bronzer for all skin tones. Um, I found myself reaching for bronzer recently rather than, um, oh gosh this brush is like on its last leg, um, than um then blusher i don't know i sometimes use blusher but um yeah i don't really tend to contour but i do sometimes go up here just with bronzer or even blush and i know people be thinking what is she crazy but um yeah that's what i like to do and then um, sometimes i just don't put anything on my lips i just prefer natural but um what have i got here i've got um estee lauder pure Chris, pure color crystal coral estee lauder lipstick and um, pixie boo the two sisters, they did a really good video, and what I consider a good video, on um, Estee Lauder lipsticks. And I have a few Estee Lauder lipsticks. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if the camera's washing everything out, and yes, I know, my hair is a mess. Another video now, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me, and take care. Bye!